What if I told you that everything you know to be true about the richest people in the world is actually a lie? Bill Gates owns more land than all of the entire city of New York. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, is officially the richest person ever. John Malone, the largest private landowner in America, owns 2.2 million acres all by himself. Welcome to Financial Fortune, the YouTube channel where we explore the fascinating world of finance, wealth, and economics. In today's video, we'll be diving into an intriguing topic, the varying levels of wealth among billionaires. We have been duped into thinking that they are the world's wealthiest individuals. They have access to private jets and the most luxurious hotels money can buy. I mean, they have a lifestyle that is beyond our wildest dreams. But what if I told you that none of the people on the Forbes list are the wealthiest people in the world? You won't find any of these artists on Forbes list of the world's billionaires. His reported annual income of $200,000 is significantly lower than the typical Wall Street banker's pay of $270,000. How come the second wealthiest man on earth, Elon Musk, thinks Putin has more money than he does? Putin is far wealthier than I am, in my opinion. Putin is said to be worth tens of billions of dollars, if not hundreds. Some estimate his wealth at around $200 billion. He's got more money than the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds put together. It may sound like a conspiracy, yet during his administration, he has personally handled trillions of dollars. So, let's assume he saved a trillion dollars, which is a minuscule fraction of the total. He's already a multiple of the world's current wealthiest person's fortune. Where, therefore, is Putin's fortune? Really, he's a trillionaire? Why, exactly? Does Elon Musk think Putin is far wealthier than he is? Do you ever find yourself wondering how much $1 billion actually is? The media makes billionaires sound commonplace by constantly using the phrase. The average American family makes around $70,000 each year. Let's pretend you don't have to pay anything to survive. So, let's imagine you don't have to worry about money for housing or food and can put away 100% of your paycheck. Where, then, is Pudding stowing his cash? To make it to the top of the Forbes list in the United States, you need to establish a company that quickly becomes the market leader in its field. However, in Russia, things don't operate that way. Almost all Russian millionaires got their start after the fall of the Soviet Union by secretly privatizing state-owned enterprises. As a result, upon Putin's ascension to power, he began a policy of imprisoning these tycoons unless they swore undying loyalty to him. Keeping your money required convincing Putin that it rightfully belonged to him and that you were only acting in a managerial capacity. The vast majority of Russia's ultra-wealthy have some connection to the Kremlin, and others, like this person or this guy, became wealthy simply because they are long-standing friends of Putin. This dude was a genuine judo coach. But once in office, Putin suddenly became a savvy businessman who was awarded lucrative government contracts. Coincidence. However, Putin does not get his riches from oil. Putin's first act as president was to avoid responsibility. He's now in charge of the world's two largest corporations. From 2000 to 2020, these two corporations will have monopoly power over the entire Russian oil and gas industry. After adjusting for inflation, the profits of these two corporations totaled more than $8.6 trillion. Who runs those two businesses, by the way? some of Putin's oldest and closest associates. And how exactly did you spend $8.6 trillion? Sadly, I don't think we'll ever know. But what if I told you that the vast majority of the Forbes billionaires are actually worth far less than $1 billion? Some of the people who often show up on Forbes's list of the richest people in the world really don't have more than a couple million dollars between them. They are known as the paper rich. Literally. All that proves this guy's status as a billionaire is a piece of paper. I mean, can someone just grab a piece of paper and write down that I'm also a billionaire so that I can walk up to Jeff Bezos and say, you know, we're like now brothers because we're all billionaires now? I'm just saying, maybe we can get together and chill. They established a business there in Silicon Valley. The firm appears to have potential. 
banks and other financial institutions would gladly lend them the money they need to get to the point where they can begin making money from the venture on the off chance that it could be successful in the future. Even if the firm has a fantastic product and manages to keep thousands of people employed, its cash flow is negative. There are still several major corporations operating in this manner, and these include Uber and Lyft. Even though Forbes claims you're worth $5 billion, you know better. You probably only have a few hundred million at your disposal. Inflate the market by selling all of your shares at once. Dodge it will cause the price to fall since it owns so many shares. As a result, you will lose billions of dollars on your investment. How then can one achieve true billionaire status? How would you like it? What would you do if you could walk into a store and instantly purchase a home, boats, and a private plane after opening your bank account to find a billion dollars? George Soros, public enemy George number Soros, one. George Soros, George Soros amassed around a billion dollars that day. Is this one of the world's most dangerous millennials? Better known as MBS. These folks aren't simply in it for the cash. They are in charge of nations and the global supply chain. There are hundreds, if not millions, of individuals who will be affected by their choices. They can cause widespread economic disruption and result in the loss of millions of jobs. In the end, it's up to them to determine Earth's destiny. Sound, abroad, music, Musk has declared his intention to acquire Twitter. Everyone assumed that, with his $200 billion, he would have no trouble purchasing Twitter. What, though? Because he lacked the necessary funds, he had to take out a loan in order to purchase Twitter. His fortune is mostly invested in Tesla and SpaceX. He would have to liquidate his Tesla stock to pay for it. In other words, he will cause market inflation. Dodge Tesla's stock might lose hundreds of billions of dollars if there are too many shares in circulation. Yet there are multi-billionaires who can quickly amass such sums. Bill Gates does not fit the profile of the average Silicon Valley tycoon. After becoming the world's wealthiest person thanks to Microsoft, he began gradually divesting himself of his stake in the company in order to spread his fortune out over a wider range of industries, that means he has the ability to quickly amass $20 billion. That said, most millionaires can. The Forbes billionaire list doesn't include everyone. They have far more impact than that. They have so much authority that they may remove presidents from office or install new ones. For instance, Fox News was important in Donald Trump's rise to power. And who precisely is the owner of Fox News? Are you Robert Murdoch? Or, consider this man. He seems like he wouldn't take anything seriously, yet his influence is great enough to change your mind. Every day, more than 2.3 billion people use Instagram, and this one man selects which stories you see and which ones you don't. He may not be the wealthiest man on the planet, but he has a stranglehold over public opinion not just in America but all across the world. Or maybe this Apple CEO. The majority of the population relies on their iPhones throughout the day, making the Apple employees who pick which apps make it onto your device among the most influential in the world. True trendies aren't limited to the wealthy class. They are in charge and may make or break a president or a monarch. They run the companies that have an impact on every part of our lives. They do not only own nations, but the entire planet. Thank you for watching Financial Fortune, where we bring you insightful discussions on finance, wealth, and economics. We hope you found this video on the varying wealth levels among billionaires thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging videos. Stay tuned for future explorations into the intriguing world of finance and economics.